Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and today we're reading Please Bring Balloons by Lindsay Ward. Please Bring Balloons about a polar bear from a carousel. So for those of you that haven't been on a carousel, this is a ride that spins around and around and every seat is an animal. So you could sit on a giraffe or you can sit on a zebra or you could sit on a polar bear as you go around and around. So let's see what happens in Please Bring Balloons. Here's the sign for the carousel. This way. It appeared unexpectedly, peeking out from the polar bear's saddle, a hint of paper. Do you see it there? It said, please bring. Emma carefully folded the letter and put it into her pocket. She'd never heard of a polar bear writing notes or asking for balloons, but she decided to play along just in case. The next morning, Emma stopped by the carousel on her way to school and tied a single red balloon to the polar bear's saddle. I hope you like red, she whispered. And for a second, Emma thought she saw him smile. When Emma came back to the carousel that afternoon, the red balloon was still there with something tied to it. Can you see? Hmm, she thought this must be important. It said, please bring more. <laughs> wow, look at all the different colors and designs on those balloons. After Emma had tied the last string, she hopped up onto the polar bear's saddle to wait. At first, nothing happened. But then slowly, the polar bear began to move. As she started to lift, oh, as they started to lift off the ground, Emma wrapped her arms tight around the polar bear's neck, and up they went. They flew higher and higher, a girl and a polar bear, and a cloud of brightly colored balloons. Emma pointed to her house, small and glowing as they drifted above it. Farther and farther they went toward the North Star. As the wind began to blow stronger and colder, Emma snuggled her face into the polar bear's fur until everything below disappeared. They landed with a quiet thud. Emma slipped down from his back, sinking into the snow. She'd never seen anything like it. But before Emma could say anything, the polar bear set off north, his paws crunching with each step. Crunch, crunch. Where are you going? Emma asked as she trailed after him. The polar bear was quiet. They floated on an iceberg, scaled icy mountains, and trudged through knee-deep snow. Emma was thankful she'd worn her boots. Finally, they crept up over a snowy hill. And Emma gazed with absolute wonder. It was a polar bear rumpus. Look at all the dancing polar bears. There's even a band. <laughs> Emma and the polar bear danced and danced and danced. It was after midnight when the sky opened with snow. Each flake lightly kissed Emma's nose as it fell. It was a perfect adventure. Emma and the polar bear waved goodbye as the iceberg slid into the night. Here they go, bye-bye. Emma slept on the polar bear's back as they floated home. And she didn't even wake up when he tucked her into bed. The next morning, Emma went to the carousel to find everything was as it was. No sign of balloons. Hmm. Even if
if it wasn't real. It was the best adventure I've ever had, Emma whispered as she hugged the polar bear. And there, tucked into the saddle, was another note. It said, please bring, can you see what this is? Please bring love, PB, the end. Great listening, everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope it is filled with lots of imagination and dreams. <laughs> have a wonderful week, and I can't wait to read to you next week. Bye-bye.